I'm Canadian that is currently living in America working on a TN visa. I still want to be able to send money from my American accounts over to my Canadian accounts so I can maybe pay off some bills that are still coming in on my Canadian credit cards or I want to invest or anything like that. I'll, I'll get into some more details in a different video, obviously. Investing in Canada while living in America can be an issue, so you have to be careful on how you do that. But I just want to talk about how I actually send my money between my two international bank accounts because sending a wire transfer not only is slow, it has a $30 minimum charge. There's several apps nowadays, and I tested a few to see what sends money not only the fastest but mainly what is the cheapest and i settled on the app called wise i think a lot of you have looked into it i tried a few other ones and basically i just link my american account to my canadian account and in my canadian bank account i also have um, a checking account or a savings account that is usd so it has the american dollar that's very important because there's a lot of transaction costs and if i can narrow that down to just my bank doing i'm not transaction costs sorry a lot of conversion costs and if i narrow that down to just my bank doing it it's overall better. So basically I've connected my two accounts and I can send money between Wise over to my, sorry, from my American account with Wise over to my Canadian account that is USD. And then within that Canadian account, I could then um, convert it over to Canadian dollars or CAD if you really wanted to. If not, you could just use that to invest immediately in American stocks from your Canadian account. It's all very confusing and I found it uh, a headache at first, but what I settled on was Wise and I'll walk you through the exact steps I do. Um, using the app sending it across okay so here's my phone i'm going to go into where i have my little money saved and if i click on wise it'll load up here obviously i have to log in but i'm going to log in with my face id because that's how i have it set up and you can see that i can send money here and i actually within wise because at first i was kind of learning it and i would put money right directly in wise but you don't have to do that so say i want to send money we'll do a test here i click on how much usd i want to send say 13 dollars and it's saying from my debit card, I don't want to send it from my debit card. I want to send it from my connected bank account, which is the ACH. And it has a little fee here, which isn't much. So I connect that, say I want to send uh, $25. Obviously, um, you should only be sending things if it's a large amount of money because there is a transaction fee every single time you do send something. So I would suggest waiting until you're sending about, say, a thousand or more. You can see here, it doesn't say USD or I can't find exactly what I want. I mean, the USD to USD actually changes it over to local, so it's not international, because I am sending USD to a USD bank account in my Canadian bank. You could send it right to being Canadian to your Canadian bank, but I find this was what I wanted because I wanted to get that USD in my Canadian bank into my Canadian stocks. I'll go continue here. I can add a recipient, and I've went through this whole process already, and I have myself as a recipient, so I click that. And then for purpose, I always would put investing but obviously you can put your actual purpose for it. Continue, important to know, skip that. So I'm gonna blur all of this out, but basically you, I've connected my account because I've already inputted my account using my, my Swift number and my BIC code and a few other account numbers here, but I make sure everything's correct. And then I go confirm. So the wire fees right here is basically nothing because like I said, I'm just sending over $25, I click agree, but if you send over more money, it'll equal it to obviously more because it's using a percentage base. What's great is it's never more than actual wire transfer, so this way it's cheaper and faster. You can see I have my connected bank account, or I could even pay with like Apple Pay or an actual wire transfer here as well. And you can see the wire transfer is $9 to send this money over. When I use the connected bank account, it's only $5, which is still a crazy amount of money to send for $25, which is why you'd never actually send $25. I'm just using this as an example. And obviously we're gonna use the connected bank account because it's cheaper. You should never use your credit card, debit card, Apple Pay. I would never suggest that. Only the wire transfer if you were, if it somehow came out to be cheaper, but really the connected bank is the way to go. I would click the connected bank, use your existing account. I already have accounts hooked up here. So now this is where I'm hooked up to my American account and I have them connected here. Then I would go pay this account and that's all it is. And it usually takes about two to three days, which is a lot faster than a wire transfer and is cheaper. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I mean, it helped me a lot out when I was sending money across from my American to Canadian. Right now I find it's easier to just invest. Like the reason I was sending my money over was to invest my money back in my Canadian bank. And I find out now that it's still better to do it in America because of tax laws and treaties basically the two countries have with each other but if you still need to send some money across you want to keep the usd that's the way to do it and then you can deal with the conversion fees within your own bank so hopefully that helped you guys out and remember 
make sure you're sending a large sum of money so that the tra transaction fee makes sense and the percentage of it is smaller. Like obviously $25 with a $5 transaction fee is a horrible idea. Don't do that. But you get the picture of how to run through the whole process. So thanks guys. I'll talk to you later.